God, which way even is the way anymore? I think it's to the left. Like previously I couldn't go here because the door was closed, but now I can. I don't even need to fight anything, I think. That's the best part. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Beautiful. Okay, so Mr. Pontiff Silifan can pretty much teleport. Okay. Uh, seven attacks. That's nice. Man, those <laughs> those invisibility frames are helping a lot. Not when he does that, of course. <sighs> so I guess as the game progresses, the bosses become more and more retarded in the way they work. I mean, like, this boss would be, I guess, okay if this was Dark Souls 1 and he tracked, like, a Dark Souls 1 boss. But no, 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 of course not. He just has seven combo attacks. Seven combo attacks, motherfucker. Of course he has seven combo attacks. Why would he use any fewer than that? Let's equip, uh, Grass Chris Shield. I don't think we're gonna block him. So... Hmm, maybe we should fight in this... Yeah, that was definitely a case of... Uh... I did not survive that. That was definitely a case of I clicked the button and the animation started, but the frames just were too late. I'm almost certain that particular try will give me that in, in information if I try and verify. Let's forget about beating him and focus on pure unadulterated survival. Hmm. Maybe keep the distance so he is more inclined to use some kind of a charge move that we may be able to predict. Interesting. See, the thing is that his attacks aren't consistent in terms of speed. That was a case of just way too large arc hitting me in the back after I dodged him, which of course would not be that big of a problem if he couldn't track my dodges, but he probably can. Probably, he probably can. And if his arc was obviously also not absurd, but whatever. His attacks simply have a certain timing to them that's not constant. Like if he swings his ah, sorry, this like fire sword. Sometimes it's gonna be slow, and sometimes it's gonna be super fast. And obviously, if he swings his secondary sword, the blue one, that's just super fast. See that? See that? I fucking knew it was coming. Wow, that was like... Fuck you! He just fucking try to hit... Kick me? He has a sense of humor, this guy. I like him. Even if his moveset is retarded. 
Right, so that is a single attack. That is not a single attack. I'm almost certain that is not a single attack. If you stand next to him. Dodge, 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 dodge. What am I doing? Come on, let's get up in his face! That is fucking annoying. So he, so he does this kind of a charge away, which he just turn ar then turns around and tracks into me with his uh, purple sword. Hmm, brutal. Anyway, I'm I'm still like not playing right. Well, obviously I'm playing right, but not right in the sense that I'm I'm still trying to win. And as as I've as I've noticed, there's no winning in this game. You just kind of occasionally pull off some shit and maybe get away with it. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, let's do this. Close quarters, motherfucker. So usually that is followed up with... What the fuck? That's new. Usually after after that it's What is even happening? I can't follow him with my camera. Uh oh. Wow, I can't even do two attacks. Wow, how did I dodge that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, two attacks is impossible. Maybe one strong attack? Yeah, it doesn't seem like... That is like, not quite as ridiculous as you would think. Strong attack is useless. What about this attack? Yeah, that's also useless. Okay, so that's a good opportunity to heal. Alright, we got this. Wow, that tracking. That is super combo. Wow. How many attacks of like it's really hard to tell when there is a good like opening cuz sometimes you just change from one combo to another without as much as a break. I'm sure it has to do a lot with the fact that I'm like right next to his ass all the time. But still crazy, man, crazy. Want to sell one here? I'm here to sell you some stoves. They burn real hot, believe me. Alright. Souls retrieved, now we can fight. Let's go. I don't believe you. It seems that at least a lot of these fucking enemies, when they slam down, they always have an opening. Oh, I am out of stamina. Well, that's natural. That, that's not even an opening. Yeah, that's just his super combo that I've only seen like twice. This is like the third time he's used it. So, I don't know how to dodge it yet. But this is like another one of those, oh, they just, they just memorize every single combo that he can possibly do, and then just, you know, once, once you've done that, you win the fight, meh. It doesn't annoy me quite as much as, for example, the uh, Abyss Watcher did, though, like... 
for one, there's a very efficient pathway here that you will, if you do it right, you will always, mm, always avoid damage on the way. So it it it's different. Wow, just combo spam, yeah. One hit. No hits. That's definitely an opening. I should just instinctively dodge whenever he does that. Combo time! Just avoid it! Ah, run away. Yeah, that kind of works, actually. Opening? Nope. That's definitely opening. Wow, that tracked so much. Four more Estes. Wow, just spam dodges. Why not? Yeah, I got killed by uh, Estus, Estus Q more specifically. I pressed Estus, got stunned, and then it started Estus after the stun, so it was too late. <sighs> sucks, man, sucks. It was a risky Estus, but, well... Everything's risky when you don't know the fight. Risk is reduced by knowledge. Without knowledge, your risk is always high. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this fight is just... kind of shit. Because... It's just pure timing combined with... ridiculous combos that are not at all consistent and therefore need to be memorized. See, usually when you have a weapon, it has like a certain speed, like it attacks at a certain speed. You can't just use a weapon and then super strike a second time with the same weapon. That's kind of the principle. I don't think any weapons in the game of Dark Souls break this like certainly there are slower attacks but they're like very slower whereas if you see like a normal strike you're never gonna see much faster normal strike after that it just doesn't happen let's just keep Yen behind him That time it just wouldn't dodge, no matter what I did. I pressed the button. Again, I pressed the button as soon as I see it. Fucking... I fucking pressed it, but it just... It's not fast enough. These attacks are just, I suppose, too fast.
I mean, certainly what I could do is take off the ring and I could probably put on stronger equipment and then maybe I could, like, t tank more of his hits. But in the grand scheme of things, that's not gonna change anything, is it? I guess I'll try after this try and see what happens if I do that instead. Just pure tank uh, equipment. No, don't even wear the shield. Don't need it. Why can't all attacks track like that one? Like, oh, it just attacked something that was miles away. Really? This one time? It's not gonna be enough time to recover. And I'm still not reaching him. Hmm, I wonder if in this specific boss's case... It actually makes more sense to... Do him around the left side rather than the right one. Oh, come on. Yeah, none of that, please. Wow. No, it doesn't matter, because he has super fast attacks with both of them. <sighs> yeah... I, I guess the bl the purple sword is a bit less annoying to deal with. Boss like these don't make me want to quit the game, but they're extremely disappointing. Because they're just like... They're just like, oh, here's, here's combos, and you have to time dodge them, and then you win. If you don't perfectly dodge these combos, then you lose, kind of, more or less. I mean, there's some leeway with items and levels and what have you, but... Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna do a tanky playthrough. Tanky playthrough? Tanky attempt, I forgot. Okay. Uh, next one. Next one after, after this one. Tanky, tanky playthrough. Tanky, tanky play. Tanky, 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 okay! Alright, so this time we're gonna go around his right side. We're gonna be a lot more aggressive. Get out of there. I can't properly. Fuck the tracking on that attack. It's so retarded. <laughs> and doesn't fit the rest of his moves at all. That attack just is, is to punish you if you like, oh, you're trying to predict what's gonna do. This is the tankiest I can be. It's basically the same outfit I wore before. So now, 
I still have the uh, good dodging, but it's no longer, you know, it's no longer 15 frames or whatever per se, per invincibility, it's only 13. Let's see if that's good enough, and... Hey, where's my souls? Dude, where's my souls? Oh, there they are. Right, well, now I should be able to tank a bit more of his hits. Maybe that's all I needed. It might be. Yeah, my dodging is severely reduced, though. <laughs> but it does seem a lot more consistent. I just think I won't be able to dodge his, like, combo attack at all. It's gonna, like, fuck me up. But let's try anyway. I think that ring is still amazing for, like, skipping shit. Like, when you're running past a billion enemies. Who cares that you, you know, take a bit more damage? You probably, you probably won't even notice, but... For fighting an enemy like this, this seems to be... Nice and... Simple. Okay, let's go. Damn it! Now what? Now he's got wings. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? So he now just does two of the same thing. You see, this fight was retarded before. Now it's just embarrassing. I wonder if you can nuke him down while he's uh, charging up. That would make sense. I don't think I'll have enough stamina to make a difference, but I'll try. Assuming I get there. Certainly the ring doesn't seem to be worth it, because uh, it doesn't help you that much, but the damage increase really fucks you up in the worst of ways. Okay. Oh, that was shit. I'm 
See? See what I mean with the inability to dodge those attacks? Oh, you can damage that thing. I didn't know that. Fuck off. All right, then. Even so, this is just fucking retarded. Oh my god, it's like, it's like, it's so retarded, but at least we know that you should not be attacking him while he does this thing. At least the initial one. Like, I don't even know, man. I assume it's a good idea to kill a shadow? I mean, I'll try, in, in fact, I, I should just read up on this. <laughs> Why try? Why waste time killing yourself when, when we have Google, which can answer Pontiff Sullivan. All right? How many more phases he has? Might as well look that up as well. All right? Well, let's try the dumb, dumbass strategy, which I didn't bother because he was seemed too passive. But fuck. I just have no patience with a boss fight that is stupid and then gets stupider. Like we have one dude, no let's have two dudes. Run away! Let's see if he do, does keeps doing that. I want to do it again. You know you want to. Doesn't look like he's gonna do it again, guys. Oh, there's music! I totally forgot. Wow, yeah, that's. Yeah, so uh, the strategy doesn't work because he has follow-up attacks. Which is why I didn't bother using it, but then I read about it and I thought, maybe I'm just being stupid. No, it just doesn't work. Whoever wrote that guy yeah, is a maroon. Because he thinks, oh, you know what you should do? You should make him force him into a, you know, jumping attack. Except that doesn't work, because after the jumping attack, he then does two more attacks. So, there's no point in forcing him into that. You might as well just stay next to him all the time. And just dodge his attacks normally, it's way more effective. Uh. Last try of today, guys. Uh, it's getting late and I'm getting bored of shit. There we go.
God, that attack is stupid. Is there a super combo? Wow, even all that was not enough. Yeah, cool. Sorry, bro. Fuck it, it's, it's practically impossible when he gets stuck in a fucking corner because then his movement gets fucked up and you can't even tell what he's doing. Anyway, I'm, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.